Hey guys, what's going on today? This is me, Dal Su, back with your Endless Space 2. Very excited to be getting back into it. Um, we are doing pretty well, I have to say, although I haven't really encountered any big scary AIs yet, so I don't really know how well I'm doing in relation to them. Uh, you can always click up here for some information, but it's a little bit vague. Well, I have three first place, but then I don't have a high place in conquest just because I suppose I haven't taken over too many planets. So I'm not going to worry about that. Um, we're going to, this episode, continue what we've been doing of trying to influence all three of these minor planets since no one else is around to do it. Keep blowing up pirates as they are foolish enough to approach us. With this shadow and this phantom, we should be all right. I don't know why we don't have the option. I guess he's not quite there yet. Anyway, we're going to stay up there um, because we are colonizing this planet. And we're actually very close to getting that. Also, we've got these guys shipping out, or these guys rather, shipping out to John Doerr for our next colony. And then also, I think we're doing desert planets. What are we doing? Yeah. We're working to get desert planets because we have several spots, including Smyrna. And we're upgrading our main place with um, the shiny new upgrade. Level 2 modernization It's going to increase the happiness, which may increase the influence, which may allow us to pass laws. So that's that's where we currently are right now. Let's end the turn. All right, so we got that modernization. It used to be that it allowed for some more population, but it no longer does, apparently. So I could do another spin project. I probably should do the spin project here and then change this one to exoscience stations because it's plus an extra science on cold planets and this is a cold planet. We'll do that. We're not in like a super hurry for it. We can't actually create a new population. There's just no room for them. We're going to lose our progress on that. That sucks. So we could go for the Academy, or we could go for the sort of national wonder that this is. If you're like a Civ player, this is a national wonder, once per empire. And now that we have an extra system layer, level rather, it's going to give us 50 gold right off the bat, 50 gold flat, plus 3 per foreign population. So and we actually have 4... Five six, so that's an extra eighteen, so a total of about seventy. That is pretty nice considering what we have right now. So it might be worth pouring some turns into. On the other hand, the academy starts our hero progress, which is really nice. You can see we're not actually getting any hero progress right now. We're no closer to getting a hero than we were several turns ago. So that's something that could be done. Um, these projects could probably wait. And that's about it, unless we want to start working on um, manpower, which I don't think we're ready to do yet. Or perhaps another ship. I think we're good with this setup for right now, actually. Uh, okay, so first things first, we have another singularity we can pop on Micre. I'm not doing it right. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so it's going to make Micre stronger. He's going to finish this, which is going to be a huge uh, production boost for us. Because we're on a temperate planet. So from there, we'll do more pop. And this is sort of the science xeno-industrial infrastructure. I think that's a good setup the way I've got it. And we just want to carry on with these guys. And we probably want to fight these pirates if they are not looking too scary. Yeah, I think we got that no problem. The only good pirate is a dead pirate. And a decisive victory for us. I don't know why it's not going to let us fight this one too. Perhaps we lack the action points. Yes, that's that's a fact. Which is stupid. <laughs> All you have to do then is just come in, in waves and the enemy can't... Yeah, I'll digress. The pirate things are, is one of the only things that is, seems a little bit incomplete about this game. All right, so do we want to spend influence to 
We already figured out that we have a, a quest for these guys, but it's something that we can't do, right? Excluding your main population. That might be possible, but it's I don't want to wait around for that. I want to get the... There's a way, I think, that you can just assimilate them. But we won't know until we get to this full bar. In the meantime, we'll pump some influence into you guys. Let's do four a turn. That'd be nice. And then... We can do five a turn on you. All right, I was going to pass a law, but I think that's a better use of my influence. Although the law doesn't have any upfront influence cost, it just has maintenance cost. So we will want to do that before too long. All right, good turn, good turn. We've also got this population. This is the Hisho population we just happened to discover. We've got a collection bonus there. Amicable. System colonized. A lot of stuff happening. I'm afraid these little guys are going to get blown up. Yes, yes, we'll look at that in a second. Yeah, this is just a little population that's trying to make its way to my home world. I doubt that's going to happen. So how did the pirate just pass through my line so easily? That's super annoying because I didn't have an action point. Grr. Right, let's repair our ships. And let's, uh, we'll, we'll look at things one by one here. Political surveys all over the place. We're leaning towards the militants, it looks like. So it could go, go any way. And it's not mutually exclusive like it was before. All right, we got our Xeno Industrial. Must mean our production down here is looking a lot better, huh? 129, that's not too bad. Still three turns for a pop, though. That's not exactly great. Are we growing any pop? No, we have zero food. Okay. <laughs> Fine. So, yeah, I guess we'll let that ride. That's a lot of turns for one population, but oh well. Here we go with these guys. I wonder, can we blow him up? Can we stop for a turn and guard? And then we'll be able to blow them up. That'll be nice. Otherwise, this planet will be kind of left defenseless. It doesn't seem to really delay us all that much. Okay, so we've got um, 10 of our own population, which I guess just gives us an extra lean towards industrialist politics. Not a big deal at all. Exploration ship cost. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look at our new colony, shall we? Very proud of this. We have a planet that we can expand to, which is tundra and cold. But we are temperate and fertile, which is the best combination that you can be. So, yeah, things are looking pretty sexy on this planet. We also have a red sang deposit and a dark glitter deposit. The ever <laughs> ubiquitous dark glitter. So um, we could start with this. It's kind of a expensive building, but temperate and fertile. I think that's worth the six turns. I will buy it out if I get the chance. That is a worth worthwhile buyout right there. So somebody else has got eight planets colonized. That's what this tells me. I only have three myself, so I'm a good deal behind. But that's fine. We'll blow them up soon. This tech is taking freaking forever, man. My science per turn is good, but once you start getting into those third levels, we got a battle here. That's what I wanted. I wanted to blow these guys up before I headed towards Jonder. So we'll do that. Oof, our probe got a little damaged. 137. I guess it's worth it. All right, continue on to Jonder, please. Ten turns. Quite a lengthy uh, migration there. I'm trying to remember. I'm not 100% sure that once this is full, I'm going to be able to just assimilate them. But sooner or later, we're going to be able to at least get the uh, quest from these guys. And usually they're a lot easier. Here we go. We get this quest. Reach 70 happiness in your whole empire and maintain it for 10 turns. 
uh, we're at 60 right now. That might be possible to do, but still, usually they're a lot easier than that. I'm almost tempted to just attack these guys, but we'll wait. We also have probes that we could shoot out. Yeah, rather than wasting these two guys just sitting here. He's still damaged. No, that's his experience. Never mind. Yeah, rather than wasting them, we'll bring them over here and we'll start shooting out some probes, I guess. This little pop might actually make it. I would not have thought that. All right, we're looking good. We're about to finish our uh, money-making project which is going to bolster finances quite a bit we're not going to have enough to rush okay we also constructed 11 system improvements so we got our 50 hyperium and we get part two maintain an empire happiness of 60 or higher for 16 turns that's easy and then we get this happiness in inducing building or we can colonize a new system and raise it to 60. That's pretty easy. And we get a hero, which I like. Raise 200, then explore the curiosity in Mariope for an approval building. I'm going to go for this for the hero. So I believe you have to colonize the system from now. So our colony on Jandur is going to be the one. So a little while in the, in the making there, but no big deal. We've got pirates still harassing us so I'm gonna go ahead and build another phantom I think priorities we can't have them just messing about with us at free will look at how many of them there are where do they come from oh my god how did I miss this <laughs> holy shit I just noticed that there was there were some lanes going further north I thought I had ended the exploration but apparently I had not. Why did I not notice that? I don't know. And then we discovered the academy as well. We get some flavor text there. We get a cooperative. Yeah, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be doing that. But holy shit, we just missed this planet entirely. Toxic, barren. Well, there's nothing there we can colonize anyway. But this is a unique planet. So that's kind of interesting. We can move there and probe it a bit. Meantime, let's blow up these goddamn pirates that are everywhere. Got a nice victory. Okay, well in that case, we have a lot of exploring left to do. I can't I don't know how I just missed those two lanes. I thought we had come to the edge. Continue to Jonder. Or someone else scoops it. Alright, so we got the Phantom being built. We got the population arriving next turn. We need to get a singularity on our new planet here, but it's not super top priority. We are going to buy this out for 600 gold. And then go straight into probably the science version of that. All right, heroes are going to start at level two. If I could just grab that academy, then I don't need to get an academy, but ugh, this is looking like a kind of close fight. Well, we won, thankfully. So I cannot, I, I can actually upgrade my ships because I did a Phantom 3 and a Shadow 3. Yeah, those were outdated ships big time. I didn't realize. And they're at full health, so that's good. Let's move them up here. Alright, this guy is still making his way back. And I've got some pirate protection here. I'm just going to set him to guard on Bundus. This guy has managed to just miraculously turn around somehow like they always do. 147 production here, not bad at all. We're about to get a whole buttload of science when that works out. And our hero leveled up. So we can do the approval, which would help our goal of assimilating that guy. So I might do that. However, extra um, 
Extra science sounds, I mean, extra production sounds much better. Yeah, we don't have any anomalies, but the flat 15%. Let's do the flat 15% research because we're struggling. We're struggling so much with the research right now. 313. Okay. Also, considering that we're about to get our, um, our desert tech, I'm going to need to grab a new colonizer. That's more important than the academy because in three turns I'll be able to colonize Smyrna. And I've even got a, a nice escort prepped here. So that's good. That's going according to plan. I don't think there's any other deserts immediately around. This is not desert, is it? Yeah, there's a tiny desert here too. So we probably need... Um, we probably use two colony ships, actually. Tell you what, we'll do that one. Then we'll have the escort come back. Cool. Cool. Could really use a third singularity on the new one. Make a choice. Negative 20 science, but plus 30 production. Plus 30 science, minus 20 gold. I'd rather, I'd, I would love the opportunity to pay gold for science right now. Absolutely, let's do it. Okay, we've got this colony ship all set up. So... Let's merge them together and have them sail away to Smyr Shurma. I was going to say Smyrna, but it's Shmyrna. Anyway, in one turn, we will have that uh, desert tech. So what are we going to pick next? I think we probably go for another military tech. So what are we rocking right now? We're rocking these. We have so much uh, special resources. We might as well grab... Something that can use those. Yeah, we can get improved slugs and improved fusion torpedoes. That's going to make us miss out on the Hyperium beams and lasers. But I think that's I think that's a wise choice. We can upgrade things. That'll be nice. Because we should be coming into some kind of confrontation here before too long. Really, I feel like I've explored quite a bit of the galaxy without meeting any AIs. We'll see, though. All right. Do I want to support anyone? The political party is established. I'd like that my scientists to get a little more beefed up, so I'm going to give them just my official support. I kind of clicked through that a little bit too fast. It looks like uh, we are military-dominated. All right. We're minimizing all this. So we're forced to get war Warmonger's Paradise, which... Is a free war declaration um, and also 30 percent 30 happiness to everybody you're fighting or I mean for every person you're fighting okay well that's not what I would have gone for myself I was looking for more of like a I don't even have access okay here's what I was looking for maybe like this but this requires established so I just, it disappeared entirely because I didn't support them, I guess. Huh, I didn't realize that they could actually be, they could actually disappear. That's a little disappointing. I could also do, I'm, not, I'm not doing brains over bucks, I could do that. I mean, that's more paying gold for science. I'm, I'm going to do that. I think that that's wise. Having more science is just uh, super OP at this point. Laws canceled. Okay, so that's kind of what I expected, right? And titanium influx. And we got our, our desert ability. So what that means is here is available and here is available. Anything else? Yeah. Lena has a desert planet as well. Good. Okay. So Mike Ray is pumping out the science now at 148. Not bad. And I'm going to go with a new singularity, probably for Mi Mi Mizar. <laughs> I've been meaning to get another one. These guys are amicable. These guys are friendly. But nobody we can actually take over yet.
Let's give them some more praise. Um, what do you want us to do? Have three or more active laws. Well, I think we've got that already, don't we? So yeah, we'll probably just get them instantly now. That'll be nice. Are we going to have to fight over here again? These damn pirates. Wait, weren't there two lanes? No, there was only one. Okay. Let's go. I don't care enough about you pirates. Cannot leave until encounters. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So they are fighting. I see. Derp. All right, we won. And we have to fight again. I hate how they make you fight them one at a time. I mean, come on. You should be able to fight every pirate in the system at once. All right, head that way. All right, I think we've got time for about one more turn. Cool. So we assimilated Rukbat. So that's going to give us more foreign population, isn't it? Which should allow us to assimilate... Uh, these guys, I would think. Also, we're just full, so... No, we're at 99. I guess we'll see next turn if that if that's a thing. Indusa. Crap planets. Red Sang. All right, we got a new singularity here. Should we should we up the pop again? Three turns, okay, let's do it. And let's use that singularity on the new planet. Boom. Cool, we're about to finish the academy as well. We'll redo our, our, our planetary specializations. You are approaching Jondar very quickly now. We've got a few random pirates. We're going to colonize Smyrna. You are about to get the science boost and I suppose some of these basic buildings after that would be nice then we can start maybe working on a little population for you Rookbot we are basically just on a temperate planet it's not bad actually let's do let's do um, let's do Xeno Industrial seems to be a good opening start Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next episode. Uh, and I hope you like and subscribe and all that kind of good stuff. Bye for now.